Hi, my name's Martha Jones and I'm a mezzo-soprano working this season for English Touring Opera, singing the roles of Dorabella in Cosi Fan Tutte, Mackenzie in The Extraordinary Adventures of You and Me, and alto soloist in St John Passion, as well as covering the role of Sesto in Giulio Cesare. Now, all our tour had to be cancelled due to the coronavirus pandemic, but thankfully English Touring Opera have agreed to pay for the shows that cannot now go ahead, and I'd like to give something back to them. This is lesson four in their series of singing lessons for children. I'd like to dedicate this lesson to all my friends at ETO, administrative staff, orchestra, fellow singers, and everybody backstage, and I hope we get to work together again very soon. In the lessons with Bradley and Joe and Carrie, they all spoke about standing up really tall with our shoulders down. So let's remind ourselves how to do that now. We're going to roll our shoulders up, back and down. Well done, let's do that again. Up, back and down. Once more, up, back and down. Now let's roll our shoulders up, forwards and down. And again, up, forwards and down. Last time, up, forwards and down. Well done, let's do a great big stretch all the way to the ceiling. Remind ourselves to stand tall and release your shoulders. We're going to do a big nod, yes and shake our head, no. Now you can't see my feet, but they're very flat on the floor and my knees are not locked. And that's how we stand when we sing. Now I'm a mezzo-soprano, which means a medium voice. But even though I'm not a soprano like Joe, I still need to make sure I warm up my voice high and low. So let's have a go at doing that now. A really good exercise for singing high and low is trying to do a hum on N. Mm. And I like to do a great big rainbow with my arm to remind myself to keep it really smooth and not miss any notes out. Let's have a go at doing that together. We'll start on this note. Can you hear how I made it really smooth? Let's try once more. If you like, you can go even higher. It sounds like this. Have a go for yourself and see how high you can go, standing up tall, shoulders down. In the lesson with Bradley, you learned a song that was all next door notes or scales. Do you remember the song about the crocodile and the motorbike and the banana? So now we're going to learn another musical pattern. It's not next door notes, but it misses a few out. It's called an arpeggio. It sounds like this. Let's try singing that together to R. Shoulders low, stand tall. Well done! Now I like to add in a sentence that goes like this. How far is my car? Shall we see if we can sing our pattern to how far is my car? Let's have a go. How far is my car? Well done! Remember to stand tall, shoulders down. Let's see if we can go even higher. How far is my car? Use that lovely R sound that we found. Let's try one more. How far is my car? Why don't you have a go at making up your own sentence, thinking of words that have that R sound in them? Perhaps, how far is my star? I'll leave that with you for next time. Did you try Carrie's homework? I thought it was quite tricky. Let's have a go now and see what we can remember together. So we have to count and let's start on this note. One, ready? One, two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, five, 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 one. Two, three, four, five, one. Two, three, four, five, one. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. 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 Five, one, two. Three, four, 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 five, one, two, three, four, five. Did you manage it? Let's give ourselves a great big clap. Well done, everybody. So we warmed up our bodies. We warmed up our voices with our rainbow hum. We practiced Carrie's homework, so we used our brains. And we learned our brand new musical phrase for today, how far is my car? Now it's time for my homework. We're going to go back to scales and sing one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, all next door notes. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Try that again. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Now I think we can make it a little bit more tricky. This time we're going to sing one, one, two, one. One, two, three, two, one. Have a go. You'll hear your note four times before you sing. One, one, two, one. One, two, three, two, one. How's that? Let's try and make it even more tricky if we can. We'll go all the way up to five this time. Are you ready? You'll have your note four times before you sing. One, one, two, one. One, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. If that's still easy for you, you can carry on all the way up to eight, just adding on an extra note each time. If you're singing with other people in your house, you can sing this as a round. Once you've got back to, down to one, the next person can join in. One, one, two, one. One, two, one. I'll play you an example of what that sounds like. Your next lesson is going to be with Richard, so perhaps we can see how he gets on with the homework. Well done, everybody. One, one, two, one. One, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, three, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, five, 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 two, three, four,